this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world, and there is no time for sleeping Miss Minecraft Xbox Live Arcade because we are about to go and have ourselves a load of fun and games, and I'm going to be doing that with... <laughs> Your little nose there just poking out of the painting. I am also going to be doing that with... Which door are they going to come from? I reckon this door? No? Hello? I know I got some more friends around here somewhere. Here we go. I'm going to be also joined by Venomous Spyro and, of course, Miss Minecraft Xbox Live Arcade, more commonly known as Epic Big C. Shall I call you Epic Big C just for old time's sake? Yeah, let's let's call her Epic Big C or Chloe. I sometimes call her as well. She goes by many names. <laughs> anyway, let's go and have our breakfast then, shall we? Oh, Lee's just got to make sure it's safe. Are we safe to have our breakfast? Is the perimeter is it breakfast safe? Breakfast ready? Jolly good. <laughs> let's eat out on the balcony for a change then, shall we? <gasps> num 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 num. Do you want a slice, Lee? Do you want a little bit of cake? Anybody want a little bit of cake? We got one slice going here. One slice of cake. Get it while it's cakey. No, no one want a cake? No? Fine, I'll have a little bit later on then. We've got a, we've got a game, by the way, we all got to play. Uh, have you all got fishing rods? Has everyone got fishing rods? Do you have any spare fishing rods for our friends, Lee? Here we go. This is the fishing rod game. And all we need to do is you've got to flick the fishing rod so it tries to land on one of these pressure plates down there. You see on the coloured blocks. And we've done most of them. There's only two left. And we can only have one go each. And you're not allowed to jump. You've got to, like, flick it up in the air so it loops around to go and try and land on it. So, Lee, as always, do you want to go first and try and show them how it's done? Lee has been having a lot of trouble with this yellow one. He always does it too short. Careful not to do it too short this time, Lee. I reckon today. I reckon today is the day where he's going to get it. Oh, that looks good. That actually looks really good. Has he done it? <gasps> no, look at that. Look how close that is. Oh, come on. Just pull it back a tiny bit, Lee. Oh, that is ridiculously close. That is so annoying. Next time, Lee. Next time, you have to get it. Oh, well, who else wants to go then? Uh, Chloe, would you like a go? So you can go for either that red one down there uh, or the yellow one. So you want to look high in the uh, the sky and try and loop it round so it's going to go and try and land on it. Oh, I think she might be going for the, the yellow one, actually. Oh, where's it going? Where's it going? I think that's a little bit too short. Yep. I think that almost went in the water. <laughs> you nearly got a fish there. And it was Spyro trying to use the cake to get a bit of height there. <laughs> Might be a sneaky tactic. Right, whenever you're ready, Spyro, pick which one you want to go for. And... <laughs> You might want to aim a little bit higher than that, Spyro. Have another go. Have another go. Don't worry. We won't make you only have that as your go. There we go. Make sure you get it over the fence. And <laughs> you, you don't do things by half, do you? I reckon if you had one more go, it would be just right. Sadly, uh, it's going to be my go now. Then I'm going to go for this red one down here. I am ready to go for the red one. I'm going to aim up about here and flick it. Oh, doesn't look too bad. I think it might be a bit too far. Actually, no. Oh, yeah. Just a, a tiny bit too far. And are, you, are, you, are you okay, Lily? Are you in Inspecting the ground. It's not the ground's fault that you lost, Lee. You were just a little bit too short. <laughs> anyway, let's go and head over to my love garden and see who's going to uh, be added to it today. And Esther, you can have your chicken down there. Uh, your egg, sorry, down there. I do not want that. Well, I guess it is a chicken. It's a baby chicken inside of an egg. And so you guys can all head over to the fun land and uh, get ready for the, the fun and games. And uh, I'm going to go and add someone to my love garden quickly first. And uh, I'm actually adding three people today. Uh, today I'm adding Ashlyn, uh, Katrina and Tana, uh, or Tana is that? I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but uh, yeah, I'm adding them because they sent me this picture, uh, which is all three of them wearing some amazing face paints. You can see that they're dressed up as Stampy Cat. Lee Bear and uh, Squid Nugget as well. And I thought the face paints were amazing, uh, as well as the little ears and everything as well. And I want to say thank you very much for sending me the picture and welcome to my love garden. Uh, so anyway, today's activities, uh, as I said in the last video, well, I actually, I promised at the end of the last video uh, that I was going to spend the entire episode playing lots and lots of games. And so what we're going to be doing is playing games in my fun land for the entire episode. That's right. Non-stop games in my fun land is what we're going to be doing today. And it looks like they're running. Right, we'll have a race. You guys run that way. And I'm going to go on the, the minecart track. And we're going to see uh, who gets there first. And so what I've basically done is lined up a few games. Uh, which I think that will be good fun uh, for all four of us to play. And we're going to have a, a little bit of a competition. We're not going to be uh, keeping score or anything. We are literally just playing to have some fun. Which is uh, always the, uh, the best kind of video in my opinion. Like, we have to build the things, 
If I didn't build the things, we couldn't play on them, uh, but I'm only ever building them so that I can play on them, you know? <laughs> That's uh, always the, the purpose of it. So uh, I think we're going to start off doing a quick game. Uh, we're going to do uh, Tumble Tower, if you remember that one. Uh, it's actually one that I built relatively uh, recently, so you should uh, all remember it if you've been watching my video. So we're going to start off doing that. And is this Lee? Have you climbed up to the top of the tree? Oh, this is Chloe. Hello, Chloe. Are you just having a, <laughs> a look over the, the fun land to, to have a look over the area? I've got a few ender pearls, actually. I can throw you one if you want, Chloe. And we can try and... Okay, let's ender pearl and see who can get closest to the tower. You see the tower over there? Whoever gets closest wins, okay? Look at this. We're having... We're playing games on our way to the games, right? I'm going to say three, two, one. Then we both need to throw at the same time, okay? Three, two, one. Throw! There they go. Oh, I think Chloe's went a bit higher. Mine went more forward. You're not allowed to move when you land, Chloe. You're not allowed to move. Where is Chloe? Oh, I'm slightly closer. I'm slightly closer. Right, don't move, Chloe. You've got to stay <laughs> from where you landed. And you've got to try and throw another one. And we've got to see who can get closer this time. <laughs> I think she fell down again. Right, three, two, one... Fro! I have no idea where I'm gonna land. Please be somewhere safe. And oh, I was pretty close there. I was pretty close there. Right, Chloe, you gotta throw yours. Where's Chloe landed? I almost fell down the hole down there. Imagine that <laughs> if I fell down the, the hole there from turbo types. <laughs> I have no idea where, where Chloe got to. She's all the way <laughs> over there still, I think. Hello, Chloe. You can just walk there. That might be a bit of a safe way. Actually, if I remember, Chloe, last time you played the Tumble Tower, you were the victor. You were the Tumble Tower champion. So uh, let's see whether you can uh, keep that title. And <laughs> you're doing a little bit of fishing then, Shari. Right, another quick game, another quick game. Everyone put your fishing rods in. First person to catch a fish um, wins. <laughs> How many games are we going to get done in one video? Oh, I want to do this. Come on, I'm normally quite good at catching a fish. Being a cat, uh, I'm normally quite good at being able to get them. And oh no, I think I could have got one there. I was a little bit slow. I didn't have good reaction times. <laughs> We're all doing a bit rubbish to be honest you'd think one of us would have been able to get one by now maybe there's just no fish in there I don't know if I keep fish in my tumble tower pool. Oh, I think Chloe nearly got one there. I think she was just a, a little bit too slow. And there we go. Yay. Oh, I think me and Lee got one at the exact same time, but mine fell down here. <laughs> I think you might have won that, Lee. I think you might have won that one. Anyway, let's go and actually play the game then, shall we, before we run out of time. So everyone pick a side and just go and stand in front of it. And uh, everyone knows the rules. Uh, if you've not seen the game before, uh, what you need to do is you need to try and flap the flaps uh, to try and climb your way up to get all the way to the top of the tower over there and no flapping early leave them all down for now <laughs> and then you can also uh, flap down the ones either side of you to try and knock down each other as well and that's always the the tactic that I go for right so we will begin the first game of the video in three two one go right flap flap and let's try and jump on and oh no I think Chloe flapped herself down then right I want to get off the bottom one and oh no someone flapped me down can I get Lee down there we go I managed to get Lee the whole way down oh no he managed to save himself somehow he just about managed to save himself can I flap him down again no I'm just wasting time I need to get on I just need to get on right Chloe I'll do a truce for now because we've both fallen behind I do a truce I won't get you and you don't get me until we catch up with them there we go that's the way we're gonna do it we're gonna do this tactically and I'm doing this so slow looks like Lee's got the early lead I'm exactly level with Spyro and look at Chloe whizzing ahead you can tell that she's good at this game and I oh, know I think Spyro might have just knocked her down a few levels that wasn't me Chloe I promise I'm not trying to get you I'm just trying to catch up with Lee otherwise he's just gonna whiz ahead and try and win I'm getting up some good speed here I think I managed to get second place and I think I'm just about catching up with Lee but he's doing a good job of keeping the lead all he needs to do is make one mistake and then I'm gonna be able to catch him up and then I can flap him all the way down but the problem is once I'm fighting him once we're both flapping each other that's gonna give a, a good chance for for everyone else to catch up and oh no I did that quite slowly I could have done that a little bit better and I did that slowly as well I'm losing it I'm panicking as we get closer to the end I'm starting to panic and I'm not doing it as quick as I was before I'm so close to him though I'm just a few little panels behind him then I'm gonna be able to catch up with him right I need to just flap them all up and then just keep jumping and flapping and oh no I think Lee is gonna win I've mucked this up I had a chance to catch him up but now I'm panicking right I just want to make sure that no one else is able to catch up with me I can handle second place this is probably the only game in my fun land that I have never won on I have not once won at tumble tower looks like Lee has managed to make it to the top but am I gonna make it in second place I think I've got a good of enough lead I can take my time here but I'm still mucky enough <laughs> I'm so rubbish at this game why am I so bad there we go I managed to get in second place it looks like Chloe is the closest person coming up in third and I think Spyro is there coming up behind come on Chloe you're gonna get to the top anyway because the best bit 
about get, uh, getting to the top is you then get to jump the whole way down and land in the water. Come on, a few more, Chloe. Take my hands. You're nearly there. <laughs> and Chloe is... Nope, still not up yet. Come on, one more, one more. There we go, and Chloe got third place. And oh no, she immediately fell back down again. Luckily, there's the pool of water. Right, everyone jump in. Sparrow, you can jump from there. Three, two, one, go. Woo! And landed safely in the water. <laughs> awesome. So the first game was won by Lee. I was in second place, then Chloe, and sadly Spyro came in third, uh, fourth, sorry. But to be fair, he had never played before, so it doesn't matter. You can redeem yourself on the next game, which is going to be Bouncy Boats. And uh, this is a, another really cool game. Uh, it's going to be a game where you need to have one person sitting in a boat, which will be your boater, and then the other person will be your uh, bouncer, and they're going to be bouncing on the other person's boats uh, to try and make it from one side of this little jungle uh, to the other. And so I'm going to split me and Lee up, because uh, we've played this game more. So if you go over to the yellow side, Lee, and uh, if someone wants to go and join Lee... And uh, then I'm going to be on this side with, uh, looks like uh, Chloe's going to be joining me. So, uh, Chloe, do you want to be the, the boater then? And uh, then I'll be the, the bouncer? Okay, so you be the boater. So uh, when I press this, uh, pull this lever, I'm going to start the bouncing. Uh, there's going to be a boat that's going to spawn in down there. You need to try and sell your boat directly between where I am and the lily pad so I can bounce off your boat. And I'll try to not land on your head, okay? I promise. <laughs> right, so it looks like they're both ready on the other side. We will start the bouncing in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So the doors have opened. The boat should have been put out of the dispensers. There we go. And looks like uh, Spyro's being their boater and Lee's being the bouncer. Chloe's getting in the middle. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. I got over really quick. Oh no, but they did it exactly the same. Okay, Chloe, you need to quickly come around. You need to swim around the side of the lily pad. Then I can jump off you. I can jump off Spyro though. Can I make it? No, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. Right, okay, Chloe, you need to get back to help me. I'm going to knock Spyro. Oh no, sorry. I didn't mean to break your boat there, Spyro. I promise. Just go grab another one from the dispenser if your boat breaks. Right, we got, we got time here. Lee's still in the middle. If I get over to the middle now though, we can just go and carry on where we left off. Get a little bit closer to me, Chloe. I can try and jump off. Now looks good. And there we go. I managed to make it. Uh, if you go to that dispenser, Spyro, and just grab a boat from it, and then you can just go and place it down in the in the water, and you should be able to carry on. Has he has he got permissions? Yeah, he does have permissions. There we go. He's, he's managed to, to get a boat. Right, so they're both sailing into the middle. Who's going to get in position first? Oh, no, they bounced off each other. Lee didn't, Lee didn't be able to make it. Right, we can take our time here now, Chloe. We can take our time and try, and try and get across. I think Lee broke Spyro's boat there. Right, try and get exactly in the middle. No need to rush. No need to rush. And can I do it? No, I didn't make it. I didn't make it. I missed the jump, Chloe. Right, back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. We need to do this again. We're starting from the very beginning. <laughs> Sorry, Chloe. That was my bad. I'm not a very good bouncer. <laughs> oh, dear. And if we manage to do it, if we manage to get the uh, the sand back from one side to the other, then one of the, the frogs above us uh, will stick out their tongue, and then the other frog starts crying, and it looks absolutely ridiculous. And I want I want it to be our frog sticking their, their tongue out. <laughs> I, I think we both need to redeem ourselves from the Tumble Tower game. And that looks good. Can I make it? There we go. I managed to make it, Chloe. I can run to the end. I don't need to jump for the last bit. Right, try and go over to my side, uh, so we can go and try and jump back. If you come over to me, Chloe, and try and sail in the middle here. Both me and Lee are in the same area, but I'm trying to make my way back and still Lee's trying to make his first way across so we've got a good chance here oh no but Lee's probably going to jump off you as well did Lee jump off oh Lee missed you good you dodged at just the last minute I think Lee's going after you though oh Spyro just broke her boat quick go get a new boat Go back to the dispenser and try and put down a new boat. I might try and jump off Spyro if he gets a, a little bit closer to me. Here's my chance. Here's my chance. No, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I need to go back here as well. Me and Lee are still both on the on the same place. I need to try and make my way across. Or let me just knock Spyro out the way a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, Lee. It's part of the game. Oh, he managed to do it. Lee managed to make it across anyway. That was pretty impressively. Right, we need to be quick here, Chloe. They're catching up. Can I get across you? There we go. I managed to jump across. Right, here's my chance. Can I get across again? And I did it. And I can go into the final area if I I place down my sand and then hopefully it's going to stick out its tongue. It's stuck out its tongue and there we go. The other frog is crying <laughs> and we won. Well done, Chloe. We were able to win the Bouncy Boats game. Ah, <laughs> oh, that game is amazing. Like, I'm not just saying that because I built it. I know I sound a bit big-headed, but that game is so much fun. Well done, everyone. Well done. That was jolly good fun. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Right. It's becoming night, so now's going to be a good time to sleep. So what we're going to do is play Flower Power next. And so you need to sleep to set your spawn. Uh, so shall we... Uh, should we let, let's, let's, let's split up the teams. Let's do Lee and Chloe against me and Spyro. So Spyro, 
Uh, if you follow me, uh, we're going to be on the Sun Kiss team, which is the yellow flowers, and they're going to be on the lovely jubbly love love petal side, uh, which is the, the red flowers. And the aim of this game is to capture all of the flowers. So we need to run around and try and get all of the, uh, the yellow flowers and put them on top of our flower pot. And they're going to be trying to do the same on their side, uh, but with the red flowers. And so if you go and empty all of your pockets and just go and put everything that you don't need in a chest here. I'm just going to keep one piece of steak on me if I get a little bit peckish in the game. <laughs> and then that way if we uh, do get taken out, uh, then things aren't going to be left all over the place. So we can go and uh, grab a bow and arrow now. Uh, try not to grab too many arrows. And uh, also grab yourself a wooden sword. And also take off any armor you may have. I'm going to take off my stampy style boots and make sure uh, you take off your... your diamond leggings leaks otherwise <laughs> that might be a uh, quite a big advantage so yeah all we need to do is uh, run around the entire game and try and get all of the the flowers and you can pick up their flowers as well just to stop them from scoring so uh, if everyone's ready uh, just lie down in your bed and uh, then we're going to sleep till morning and then I'm going to pull the lever which is going to open up the uh, the um, the flower pot and then we can begin the game of flower power and this game is really good fun I love this game and uh, I'm pretty good at, at Spyro, I will be honest, I've got a, a pretty good track record on this game so hopefully uh, we can keep that going. Right, we will begin in 3, 2 1, go 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 go, right it's opened up and we want to try it and as quick as we can go and grab some flowers I'm going to grab a red one so they can't score and a yellow one but I've not scored it until I'm able to put it in, I need to go and bank it and it looks like uh, Chloe grabbed one of her red flowers and so I've grabbed one down here, quick we can get her, we can get her, we can team up on her quick get her, get her, use the sword, use the sword, use the sword I know she's coming here as well, oh no no she took out Spyro but I was able to take out her, right I want to run away before Lee's coming, I know he's going to be charging in and there he is, I knew he was going to be charging in, <laughs> get back, get back to your side right I managed to get two yellow flowers so I can go and put them down here and then I switch the lights on just to, to show that I've got them and because I got a red flower they're gonna have to take me out before they can win and it looks like they know that they're charging me down already <laughs> and I think we still got two red flowers near our base so quick as you can Spyro you're allowed to respawn just grab the stuff and then you can run back out and you're not allowed to run back into your spawn by the way uh, or into the the other team spawn it looks like Chloe's pushing up quite close to the middle she's deciding to back off can I hit them with arrows oh there's there's Lee taking the high round, and good one, Spyro! Spyro was able to sneak up and Lee behind you, Spyro! Turn around, turn around, Chloe's coming! Right, I'm coming, I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna get her, I'm gonna knock her down as well. Oh, everyone's running all over the place! <laughs> What's going on around here? I need to, I don't know where the other yellow flowers are. Oh, there we go, I got another yellow flower. They're down on the floor. How many? There's only one of them. And we need two more, but oh no, Chloe's gonna get me. I need to run away. Help me, Spyro. Help me, I've got all the flowers on me. No, she's got me. If you go out the flower pot and turn left, that's where she was. We need to go as quick as we can. We can't let them win. We can't let them win. Right, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh no, Lee, you're not allowed in the spawn. <laughs> you're not allowed in here. Right, if you're gonna go that way, I am gonna go up out this way then. <laughs> and let's go and see if I can get Chloe. I think she's got all the flowers on her. I need help, Spyro. We need to take them out. We need to try and get all the flowers back if we can. I think Lee's really hurt. If you get Lee, he's almost dead. There we go. I was able to take out Lee. I don't know where Chloe's gone. Oh, she's gone round the back around here. We need to track her down. There we go. We need to get a team up on her. Team up on her. Quick while Lee's still getting all of his stuff. <laughs> right, let's go in this way. Come on, we need to get her before she puts them down. Try and knock her off the flower pot if you can. They need to put them all down. I don't think they've done it. No, they, they still need one more flower to get yet. They haven't won yet. And we need to try and take her out. There we go. We managed to take her out. Where are all the flowers? Where are all the, the sun kiss flowers? We need, uh, we need two more still. And they've got to be round here somewhere. They might be on the floor down there somewhere. Here we go. Here's another sunkless flower down here. Let me just go and try and put this in as quickly as I can. <laughs> if you've got a, a red flower, make sure you hold on to it. And uh, don't let them get it. I can see Chloe here. Chloe, you're not allowed in the spawn. Oh, no, I need to try and get her. I need to try and get her. She's got to be so weak. She's got to be so weak. There we go. I was able to, to take her out. But I have no idea where Lee is. I've put down the last sunkless flower. But oh, no, they did it. Lee just put in the last lovely jubbly love love petals. Lee, do you remember what you need to do when you win? <laughs> you need to dance like this. Woo! Woo! That, that, that's the victory dance when you win. Woo! 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 <laughs> oh, I, don't, I don't think he's got a bow and arrow so he can't do it. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. I love that game. I don't even care that I lost. That was intense. <laughs> well done, Spyro. No, no. Spyro had the last flower here. We were so close to winning. So close to winning. <laughs> right. Right, there we go and let's put that down anyway even though we didn't win we did get all of the the flowers eventually so uh yeah it looks like lee uh won the, the he i think he's the the most winning player overall and so yeah let's go let's go play another game then guys shall we i'm gonna go and put my stuff back down here and i think the the next game we're gonna be uh play uh, is a game i built a little while ago called what goes up
And uh, some of you might have seen it before, uh, some of you may not have. And uh, don't worry, I'm going to go and explain the rules when we get over there. But let me go and pick up all of my rubbish that I've been carrying around on me all day. I need to at least put my stampy style boots back on. I need to at least uh, dress for the dress for the occasion. <laughs> let's have uh, something to eat. And uh, now let's go and play the uh, the What Goes Up game. And uh, the What Goes Up game is uh, right over here. And uh, it's a, a very simple game. Uh, basically, all you need to do is you go inside one of these little pods and you need to fire arrows up into the sky uh, so it loops over your little capsule and you need to hit all of the minecarts uh, that are on the blocks of your colour. So say if I'm on, on yellow team, I need to hit all of those four minecarts there. Uh, as well as one which is right in the middle, uh, I need to try and hit that. And once I've uh, destroyed them all, uh, then the, the little doors down here are going to open up and then I'm going to be able to escape from the game. So it looks like uh, everyone here is correct and present. Uh, so if everyone goes and picks a colour, uh, I'm going to be on yellow side so it matches my fur. And there's special bows in the chest, uh, special powerful bows that are strong enough uh, to break the minecart. So what we got here, we got power and flame, power and infinity, and power punch and infinity. Uh, let's go, let's go for this one. This one seems good. And uh, I've already got a few arrows on me, so I don't need any more of them. Uh, so I'm going to enter my little pod. It uh, looks like Lee's gone over there on green team. Uh, I think Spyro's gone into the blue team. And uh, uh, Chloe, uh, if you go and head over to the, the red side, and don't forget uh, to grab a, a bow before you go in. Uh, I think her chunks might be just waiting to load in. Uh, that's why she can't get in. Uh, so I'm going to very quickly cut ahead uh, until everyone's in their booths, and then we're ready to start the game. Okay, Chloe's just jumped into her booth. Everyone seems to be ready. I think Spyro's just having a little dance there in his booth. So we can begin the game in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. So you want to try and fire them up in the air. So they go and loop around and they want to try and hit one of the mine carts. And I don't think I did very good there. I might do my standard tactic of just fire lots of arrows and hope that some of them hit. Because I got an infinity bow, I can kind of fire as many as I want and not worry about running out of any. I'm not doing very good here. All right, let's try and get that nearest one then. Let's line it up. And you want to fire quite high because if you don't fire high enough, uh, you can ha actually uh, hit the minecarts, but not destroy them. You kind of just make the, the minecart shake a little bit. Is it going to destroy it if I hit it like that? I'm doing rubbish here. I'm not even getting any close to them. Can I at least hit it? There we go. I managed to make it shake at least. I wasn't able to destroy it, but I at least made it uh, shake a little bit. And I'm almost hitting myself here. <laughs> They're just flying up in the sky and almost coming straight down on me. And there we go. I've managed to take out one of them. And uh, <laughs> looks like Spyro's uh, setting the whole place on fire over there. Right, let's try and go for that one there if I can. I've got it lined up, and if I kind of keep shooting, uh, but doing it at different powers and sort of looking up and down a little bit, uh, hopefully one of them's going to hit it. And who's who's shooting arrows at me? Who did that? And there we go. I managed to hit another one. I'm doing pretty good here. I'm doing pretty good here. I think, has anyone else got any? I think Spyro just hit one, uh, but wasn't able to, to take it out. I think I'm, I'm in the lead here. Uh, I am actually undefeated at the, the What Goes Up game, so I'm trying to keep my title. And there we go. I managed to hit another one already. Let's line up on the final one on this side, uh, but these are are the easier ones. As I said, there is another one in the middle, which is not only harder to get, it's also risky because uh, you could easily accidentally hit everyone else's as well. And uh, this is probably the hardest one to get here. It's pretty far away, actually. And it's kind of hard to, to gauge how hard you want to shoot. Oh, look how close that is. Look at all of my arrows just surrounding it, but not being able to, to take it out. I don't think anyone else has hit any. There we go. Spyro's just managed to take out one of his. I think he's starting to get his aim in a little bit more. Right, let me try and line it up again. And who is that? Who is shooting arrows at me? Is that you, Spyro? Are you trying to shoot arrows at me? me. <laughs> Should I see if I can hit him? Should I see if I can take out Spyro? Who was that? I think that was Lee. Are they all just shooting at me now? <laughs> I think I nearly hit one of Spyro's minecarts there. That might not be a good idea. Chloe is on fire. Chloe is on fire. Did someone set her on fire or did she set herself on fire? <laughs> oh dear, she's not having the best of games so far. Right, let's try and hit that final one down on this side. Those look quite good. Any of them going to land on it? I think I'm doing them slightly not far enough. So let me try and do them a little bit more powerful. If I fire uh, high and uh, just really powerful, uh, hopefully some of them are going to loop down and land on it. I don't know if they're all just going miles away. And look at all of the arrows around my area. I swear every time I turn around, they all start aiming at me. Right, where are those arrows going? Hopefully I don't hit Holly and Jolly. <laughs> I can just about see them there in the background. All right, let's go back to my old tactic. Let's do a little bit lighter and a little bit lower. I'm a bit more precise when I do it this way. And oh, I hit it. I hit it. I was able to it, but I didn't do it strong enough to take it out. I guess I need to do it uh, a little bit harder than I was. And those look like they're a little bit too close. Let's do them a little bit further away if I 
I can. And there we go. I hit it. Oh, my thing opened. I think someone hit my one in the middle. Someone hit the yellow one in the middle, so it's opened. I did it. I was able to win. I think someone helped me, <laughs> but I was able to, to win the game. Let's see how everyone else was doing. I think Spyro was able to, to take out two of his. Uh, Lee took out three of his, actually, and he's still there going for the fourth and getting really close. <laughs> and uh, Chloe uh, didn't have the best of luck. <laughs> She's just set them all on fire. You can see her aim couldn't have been that bad. She's able to set them on fire, but she just wasn't able to, to destroy any of them. <laughs> and there's Lee uh, still there, ferociously still trying to get that trying to get that final one. And oh, this is not a good place to stand. Spyro, are you doing that on purpose? <laughs> They're going straight for me. I think he's aiming for me. I don't know why I jumped in. I didn't mean to go in here. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, that's that's the end of the, uh, the What Goes Up game. <laughs> and uh, also pretty much the end of this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you'd like videos like this more often. Uh, uh, where instead of uh, going around and building new things, uh, we basically uh, jump around the fun land and uh, play a bunch of old games that I built a while ago. So let me know if you do enjoy this style of video and if you'd like me to do more of these in the future. Uh, but I do have something cool uh, that I am going to be building next. I'm going to be building a fire station. So I'm going to be building that uh, in my next video. And wait a minute. What? Is that? <laughs> How long have I had a dog up there? Who even is that? Is that a new dog? Is that is that your dogly? Is that Larry? Let me let me try and end a pearl up there. Were you? I think there was a dog just came over when we were doing flower power and was just sitting there watching the whole time. All right, let's see if I can go and end a pearl on top of that big tree. Is that going to be far enough? Oh god, hopefully I'm not going to knock the dog off. Oh, where's it going to go? Nope, that's a little bit too short. Right, I reckon I can do this if I aim about. Uh, there, that looks good. Uh, hopefully this will land on top of the tree. Who even is that? I can't tell from, from this far away. Oh, oh, steady, steady. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Oh, that was dangerous. Oh, it's Fluffy. Fluffy, what are you doing all the way up here? How did you even get up here? <laughs> Fluffy's the dog that's normally in the pick a pet pet shop. <laughs> I guess Fluffy decided to go for a bit of a wander. And I can hear that. I can hear those arrows. No, don't you're going to hit my dog. Don't do it. I'm going to shield you. I'm going to shield you, Fluffy, from all of the arrows coming in. You'll be fine. <laughs> Ah oh dear. Anyway, before someone else gets hurt, I am going to end this video here. <laughs> but I want to thank uh, Chloe, uh, Venomous Spyro and Lee for joining me in the video. And hopefully they had a good time. And hopefully you enjoyed watching the video. That's the end of it now. Thank you all very much for watching. And we will see you later. Bye!